Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Amanda here as always, and today I'm super excited to show you this sultry summer goddess makeup look. It's really bronzy and really glowy, perfect for summer nights, and I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get to the video. Alright, so I've zoomed you guys in a little bit so you can see uh, in better detail. First thing I'm going to do is clip back my hair because we don't want it in the way. First thing I'm going to do is apply some foundation. I'm using my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. I find that it's a really good foundation for summer because um, while it does provide some coverage, it's pretty light and gives you a more natural finish. Because I want something more natural, instead of going in with concealer, I'm just going to use some more foundation on my index finger and go right under my eyes to conceal my dark circles. Next, I'm going to fill in my brows using my Smashbox Brow Tech to go in um, dark brown. Now we're going to do my eyes. First I'm going to start with the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Cinnamon and I'm going to kind of smear that almost everywhere a little bit above my crease as well to give a nice bronzy base. take um, my Malibu Free Spirit palette by Lorac and I'm going to use this color Longboard which is just like a matte bronzy shade and I'm going to buff out the edges of that base color. While I'm at it I'm also going to take that same matte bronze shade and run it under my eye. Now I'm going to use the uh, Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Starstruck and I'm going to use a small pointed brush and I'm going to put that on the inner part of my eyelid as well as my inner corner. So I'm just loading up the brush like that. Now going back to the Malibu Free Spirit palette, I'm going to take Beach House first, which is the lighter shimmery champagne color, and I'm just going to use that to set where I put uh, the matchstick on the inner half of my eyelid. Now I'm going to take Cliffside View, and I think I'm going to put that in the middle as well, and just blend the two together. Then I'm going to take Route 1, which is a shimmery brown color, and still using this pencil brush, I'm going to give my eye a little bit more shape by accentuating my lash line and then throwing that into the crease as well. So you're essentially making this little pointed V shape that will blend out in just a moment. But I want to keep it shimmery, even though most people prefer not to put shimmery colors in the crease. I want the whole eye to shimmer this time. So taking that fluffy brush that I used earlier, I'm just going to buff this out so that it has a little bit of depth, but it's also not too harsh. And these shimmers are definitely coming up above my crease line, but that's okay. That's what I want this time. Now going into that shimmery brown again, I'm just going to connect my lower lash line and define it a little bit more. Now I'm going to take my Pixie Dual Sided Eyeliner and going into the pencil side, I'm going to draw a little bit of a smoky liner and then smudge it out along my upper lash line. Now taking that same pencil brush and route one again, I'm going to smudge out that liner so it softens and blends in with everything else. Now I'm going to finish the look off with some mascara. Now I'm going to start finishing up the rest of the face. I'm going to start by bronzing with this Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I just tried it for the first time a few days ago and I love it because it's like not too warm but not too cool. And it's really good for people that are paper white. I'm 
also going to take that down my neck. I usually don't bother with this step, but in case you didn't notice, my body is way tanner than my face right now. So I'm just trying to get the two to agree with each other because, I don't know, my body tans way faster than my face does. There's kind of nothing I can do about it. And I also don't want to change to a whole different shade of foundation because then my, my neck and chest wouldn't match, but like the rest of my extremities, it would just be really weird. So. We're just gonna bronze pretty heavily, but that's okay because this is like a bronzy, goddessy makeup look. We do that around here. Next, I'm going to go into my Z palette and pick out, I think this blush from Ofra should do the trick. And I'm going to apply it in a wider area than maybe I normally would. So for many makeup looks, I'll keep my blush kind of like back here. But because this is a summery look, I want to mimic almost the pattern you get when you have a sunburn. Um, like not too heavily, but I'm just going to put it in more of like a triangle around this area and more on the inside apples of my cheeks. My blush was a little bit more light pink than I wanted, so I'm going to try and mix it with some of my Bang Beauty blush in Cheeky. Because if I recall, this was a little bit darker and a little bit more orange because I kind of want it to pick up on the bronzy orange tones in the eye. I'm also going to put a little bit on the bridge of my nose, tiny dusting on the forehead and chin, just to make it look like I actually go outside. Now for highlighter, I'm going to layer two different products. I'm first going to go in with my liquid Becca highlighter in Moonstone and then the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt highlighter in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. Layering these products is going to give you more of a dimensional highlight as well as long lasting. You noticed I used cream and then powder on the eyes and that's going to help um, just like with the cheeks your highlights stay longer and for your highlight it's going to make it pretty bright. Also I just love these two products. Now I'm going to switch to a slightly less dense brush for the powder highlighting portion of this look. And I'm going to mix a little bit of the two shades because this one's more of a subtle glow and this is a little bit shimmery. And I like them both, so I'm just going to mix a little bit of each. Now I'm going to switch back to this small pencil brush and use just these two powder shades to highlight my brow bone and my inner corner. And I'm not liking the way that my brows are behaving right now, so I'm going to take a little bit of that NYX mascara in brown, and I'm just going to comb that through. This is also going to make my brows look a little bit more bushy and natural, which I think is appropriate for this kind of look. Cool, I dig that. Now, before we add the lips, I'm going to set my makeup look with this Bliss Triple Oxygen Mist. I, I just have this. I don't know. It's not really supposed to set your makeup, but for me, it really helps um, to keep everything like natural looking and kind of like set it into the skin and help it look less like cakey or powdery. You could also use the NYX Dewy Finish Mist, but this bottle is for clients right now, so I'm not allowed to touch it. And also I kind of just want to use this. Okay, it feels nice, whatever. Now for lip color, I think you guys already know what's up. This is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow, which is the only shade that it comes in, um, but it's a beautiful universal nude shade and it's perfect for summer and it's very, very high gloss. I love it. It's so beautiful. We're just going to wing this outro since like it's been so long since I recorded a video. I don't even remember what to say. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, subscribe to my channel. Leave a like if you enjoyed. It's cool to see your support. Um, I've gotten some comments recently from people that have been super nice. I love responding to comments. It's very fun. Expect um, at least one good vlog and hopefully tons more after because I am going to FITM Los Angeles in um, July. So. Going off to college, going off to LA, it's going to be super cool and I can't wait to take you guys along with me. Thank you so much for watching this video, leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe so you can keep up with what I'm posting. Oh my god, that was the outro, I remembered it. Thank you guys so much, um, hopefully I'll record more videos today and if not, I will see you guys in like four months because that always seems to happen after I do one video, tires me out and I won't see you for another quarter of the year. But, if I see you sooner than that, hey, thanks for 
stay loyal even though I post like three times a year and then go into hibernation. I love you guys so much. Thank you and bye.